like a pro at String Sound Studios. Hi, I'm Michael Violette, and welcome to the first video of our Pure Beginner Guitar course. Now, if you're not familiar with some of my other videos, please go back and watch the video Buying Your First Guitar. That ought to be really helpful, and I talk a lot about holding the guitar, and I'm going to briefly touch on that, and then we're going to get into picking. You do want to hold the guitar properly, and that's part of the first lesson. So your guitar should probably be on an angle here, up like this, so you have full access to the fretboard. I use quite a bit of devices to get myself comfortable. This here is called a Dianette. That's a great product. You can put it right here, and I'm using that in correlation with something called a classical footstool. That is a little stool that brings your foot up. I'm sure you've heard of that as well. If you haven't, go look up what a uh, footstool is for the guitar. Now, again, talking briefly about holding the guitar this way, it's important because you want to be comfortable with the guitar. I see a lot of people holding the guitar down like this. You're going to create a lot of tension in your arms, in your hands, in your neck. We want to avoid that. We want to just be able to pick up the guitar and play. When you're playing, you'll have full access to the fretboard up here, and it's easier to reach this, and you'll feel a lot less tension. Let's go into talking about the picks. What kind of picks do I like to use? Well, I like to use small or triangle picks. These are called Jazz 3s. I'm not suggesting you have to use those. In my view, the smaller the pick, the better the control, the better the sound. I would, at a bare minimum, use uh, heavy picks, heavy to medium. At a bare minimum, use some medium picks. But avoid light picks. When you have light picks, they flop around a lot and they don't have a good tone. And especially if you're on the younger side. If you're a kid, definitely use, you probably want to use bigger triangle picks to start and use a heavier pick. Because if you use a bigger pick, it allows younger kids to grip them better and get or produce a better tone. As far as strings go, I would recommend using 10 gauge strings at least. I use different strings for different guitars, for different sounds, for different styles. But let's start with about 10 gauge strings, 10 or 11s. Uh, if you're playing an acoustic guitar, yes, mediums or lights even on the acoustic would probably work. Let's talk about holding the pick. I call this, this is called actually Johnny Smith style, and Johnny was a jazz guitarist back in like the 40s, 50s, and 60s. He uh, held the pick a certain way to produce a good tone, and you might want to check some of his uh, playing out because he was phenomenal. The process of holding the pick, it's Johnny Smith, and I'll call it the talking hand. Now, what we want to do, we want to hold our hand like this. See that? And... The process of doing this is, let's say if you drew two dots here and that, that's why I call it the talking hand, and the hand was talking to you. If you take a look at my fingers, they're not in a clinched fist, but they're halfway back, and my thumb goes like this. My fingers are back, they're supporting everything. Now, this allows you to hold the pick properly without it moving around, and it produces a good tone as well, because it's in there, it's firm. We want to keep the pick square to the strings, meaning you don't want to dip the pick in like this on a down pick and angle your wrist up on an up pick. We want the tip of the pick to go right through the strings. See that? So we're going to go right through like this. We're going to use the tip of the pick as much as we can. We don't want to dip it in. Right? We don't want to hold it like this either because then I'm creating too much leverage on it. It's going to flop around. What I mean by dipping it in, let's say this is your string. We don't want to do this. See that? We want to use the tip because then it's going to roll off the string and it's going to get a very harsh tune. So hold as much of the pick as you can. I probably hold about a good 80% of the pick. And we're going to keep it square to the string. I'm going to have a stiff wrist when I do this. I'm not going to move my wrist like this. Yes, I fan my hand out and I do funky things as well, okay? However, we're going to play from a stiff wrist, perspective of this, 
right now, and this is a beginning lesson, so you don't want to go off and try anything like that. If you work, work like this and you learn to do this, then you can do all the nuance later. You can hold the pick like this for different sounds. You can fan your hand out. I want you to get comfortable with this. I flip back and forth between this and this quite often depending on what I'm doing. All right. We're going to use alternate picking down up strokes and we're going to get more involved with that in the next lesson. So I had a lot to talk about on this about holding the guitar using devices and of course just holding the pick because this is a first lesson and you really need to know this. Down is this way and up is this way. One of the few things that's not contrary to direction on the guitar. So we're going to go down and we're going to go up. This is down, this is up. We're, our motion is going to come from our elbow because this is what's going to control volume or dynamics. Volume is dynamics in music. Okay? Soft, loud. And you can jump around from string to string holding the pick like this. If you're bracing your hand here and going like this, you can't get around on the string. So we're going to use the tip of the pick. Okay, We don't want it to dip in. Uh, we're gonna, it's going to point in towards the guitar. So here's a demonstration on the first string. This is the first string on the guitar. Okay, if you're new to this and you don't know that, this is the sixth string. I'm using a six string guitar. There are other types of guitars. So this is my six, this is my first. Now, and the first string is the highest sounding string, open string on the guitar. But we're going to do what I just said. We're gonna use the tip of the pick and you're gonna do this with me, ready? Three and four and. small recap. Hold the guitar properly, use it, uh, get it on an angle, use some devices to help you. Holding the pick in this Johnny Smith style, if you would. Okay. See that? Holding it like that. The talking hand. The pick points in towards the guitar. You keep it square to the string. You don't down it like this on a down pick and then up like that. You don't dip the pick into the string. You don't want to do this. Okay. You want this. It's probably best to watch this video a few times, do just that one picking exercise, because in the next video, video two of the Pure Beginner Guitar Course, I'm just going to concentrate on open strings, and these are the open strings, okay? no fingers down. I'm going to concentrate on down up picking on open strings, going through all the strings and talking about the subtleties of that. So it will be very helpful if you watch this a few times and then went to the next video. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have a lot of information on that, as well as on here. <laughs> and this is a curriculum, some of the things on YouTube. I try to build a curriculum with that. They're, they get a little bit scattered because I'm doing a lot of different songs and things like that. And I will be doing that on this video as well. Uh, so please subscribe to String Sound Studios YouTube channel. You can also find us on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, all the social medias. And please send me an email uh, through my website, stringsoundstudios.com or stringsoundstudios at gmail. And let me hear your feedback on these uh, lessons here. Okay, so go to the next video and I will see you there. And we're going to talk about more picking. Thank you very much. Play like a pro at String Sound Studio.